well, good afternoon, just. And I thought I'd start off by showing you my cute little dancing duck. Look, there he is. That was a, um, a birthday present from some of the lovely ladies. So I thought I'd share him with you because now he's been sitting in the sunshine for a day or two. He's dancing beautifully. You can't even see my... Let me just pop my microphone in. I've not even done that yet. I've been, it's been a busy morning running around helping out my sister and her family. Um, and so today's public health warning, ladies, is um, be very careful with your um, metal pan scourers. So my sister tried to take the top of her finger off yesterday with the, with the, um, whilst scrubbing her um, Sunday dinner pans with her metal pan scourer and she said it was just like a cheese wire so she managed to nick an archery in her finger so do be careful with your metal pan scourers here ends today's public health warning and the other thing that I'm wondering today is am I the only one that always gets a pizza leaflet on a Monday um, yeah, it's, it's, it feels like it must be Monday. We have a pizza leaflet. So, yes, so there we are. A couple of random things that are wandering around in my brain this morning. So I've picked up a couple of um, the new stamp sets that um, I'd had following on from the 24-hour sale. That one looks as if that inner just wants to be brought up a little bit because it's catching on that bottom. Let's do that. Okay, so I've got the moving along stamp set here and we might delve in again to this textured essentials because I'm thinking this looks a little bit tire tracky. Um, but we shall see. We'll see where the, where the mood takes us. But before we get started on those, I thought I'd quickly share. You may have seen, um, it was World Card Making Day on Saturday. Um, I deliberately didn't plan any big events just because obviously we are waiting on baby and I didn't want to have something in the calendar, um, a big event in the calendar and then have to cancel it at the last minute. But I did have a bit of a play with my gorgeous Posies card kit. And if you've not seen this, this card kit it comes in this stunning little box with all this gold foil on it is one of the card kits that you need to purchase the stamp set separately um, but to actually make up the kit you just need the sentiment so if you didn't have this stamp set I'm sure you'd be able to find other sentiments um, that you could use because it is only the sentiments out of the stamp set that you use. It is a beautiful stamp set and I've used that to create other projects as well. Um, but some of these are as they were in the kit so I think it is and some of them are as I have tweaked them. So let's have a little look. That one and that one were definitely a tweak. Um, that one I think was a tweak, yes, with that bow on it. Um, and this one was a tweak. And then we had the four that were created. I knew there was another little purple thing somewhere. That's come off of that one. Excuse me. And then we had the four that I've created as the leaflet suggests. And I still have another eight cards to make up to each of each of these designs. So they're really lovely. So you do get the ribbon and you get the thread and you get the um, banner pieces to pop out. You get these card fronts with this foiling on. So as you see, I've got two of each design left. Um, two green ones and two purple posy ones you get all these bits of pop out flowers and leaves as well that go in that you can use and then you've got your card bases and then you've got your lovely envelopes that go with it that have this sort of pale sort of blobby effect on the inside so it's a really beautiful kit to say that comes in a lovely box 
So that's how I spent my evening. On Saturday evening, I indulged myself with a little card making from the card making kit. So these kits are just beautiful. And they really are a lovely way to spend an evening just playing around. You've got a little elastic that clips over there for your box. So that was how I spent my Saturday evening for World Card Making Day, having a bit of a play myself. So that was really lovely. Hi, Glenda. But let's have a think about what we're going to do today. I've got my I've got water today in my nice posh new Inspire Create Share um, water container with a nice um, sort of stainless steel um, straw that can be washed and reused so good for the environment so got that on standby today and let's have a little look at this moving along stamp set so really cute if you've got particularly if you've got little boys although that's very sexist you can use it for little girls as well and um, you've got your train so you so you've got your outline image and your infill image so you've got your train plus you've got your little wagons these could be clouds they could be things filling up your carriages your little wagons on your train you've got these cars you've got this really cute little helicopter um, you've got some steam um, and some stars you've got a banner you've got a roadway and a railway and then these nice little sentiments way to go happy travels thanks so much you're the best welcome baby and it's your day so a really cute little stamp set which as you can see has not yet seen ink so we'll have a play with that as I say and we may well bring in I just think this looks quite tire tracky we might do something with that as well that was another of my stamp sets that I had from the 24 hour sale I'm just going to move these colours out of the way because they were the colours from um, from my card kit and let's find ourselves a bit of whisper white card I think to start with and have a little bit of a think about what we'd like to do with these stamps so I think I'm going to start by taking, um, let's go, let's go Pacific Point and we'll do like a bit of Bermuda Bay with Pacific Point. Let's have those colours. And a little bit of grey granite. So that's a good starting place. Let's just make sure this is the right size. So we'll trim that to 14.9 and score it at 10 and a half. Give us a standard card base. And I think we'll come in with some Bermuda Bay and we'll make that 14.4 and we'll cut it at 10 to make a mat on there. And then we've got some grey granite here, so let's make this 13.9. And trim it at nine and a half. Now I'm going to take this textured essential stamp. Move that 
crisper white out to the way for a minute and I'm going to bring in this grey granite and I think I'm going to bring in some clear embossing powder and there we go Let's ink up this, well, it could be stones, so it could be like a stone pathway. It's a nice thing about these textured stamps, they can be whatever it is that you want them to be. I think I'm going to stamp one at that top corner and I'm going to ink it up again. Stamp another on this bottom corner. And let's take our clear embossing powder. See where this takes us. these textured stamps it's um you don't have to worry too much if you get the odd speckle and things because they're not necessarily uh, a sort of exact detailed image in the first place so let's just heat up our heat gun and let's turn this clear embossing powder clear and of course because it is sort of sitting on the grey in the background it will just appear as slightly darker and shinier in that background so it will be a subtle background There we go, we've just got that sort of background going on there. And that. I'm going to find some ornaments of um, Pacific Point and the Muda Bay. You're not the Muda Bay, you're Coastal Cabana. You're the Muda Bay. And let's find our moving along stamp set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the outline car image and I'm going to stamp that onto some oddments of cardstock so that the cardstock itself is going to give the car its colour. So let's have a little bit of Bermuda Bay and a little bit of Pacific Point. And let's bring in our foam mat because Is a photopolymer stamp and I'm going to grab some memento and a little bit of scrappy paper. So let's ink up our car and let's give it a, a test stamp on some scrappy paper. That's all looking good and then I think we'll have won't really matter as long as it fits on because I'm going to fussy cut them. We'll have one, I think we'll have two blue ones, and a Bermuda Bay one. Let's put 
put a few lids on some stamp sets for a minute. I'm sure we will come back to those. Uh, let's just come round the edge here. There's one little Bermuda Bay car. And let's have a couple of Pacific Point ones. And we come, so we're just giving a bit of a board around there. We're not to get right out into all the nooks and crannies just a bit of an outline let's have another There we are, two little blue cars and a green car. I'm actually going to just grab my um, white watercolour pencil and just let's lighten up the windows on these. white watercolour pencil is really quite useful for highlighting things and let's just add in it sort of helps give that car you can see those two cars together if I lift them up um, it's a bit blurry but you can see where the uh, having the windows does have a sit there we go does just help a little bit. Took a little while then for the for the camera to catch up with us. So there we are. Let's add that little window in too. some little cars that we can add in onto our card front. Um, I think we'll come in with a they bring in a stitched shape. And I think I will um, I'm going to cut that stitch circle out of the middle of that um, Bermuda Bay cardstock. Let's just grab my mats for my, my die cutting machine. So we'll have a Bermuda Bay circle and then the smaller stitch circle I think we'll just cut from a piece of whisper white let me just move that out of the way have i got a piece of whisper white oh that looks as if that might work nicely excellent now let's run those through my machine my lovely lovely machine Have our 
cards on our little circle just there. I'm going to take this roadway stamp just here. Rip of Whisper White, bring back in our mat and some black, I think. Let's ink that up nicely. There is our scrap paper. Let's just I'm going to bring this overlap that slightly with a second one. So let's cut that out. I could get my trimmer out and do this, but I'll just run that along there. We might need to trim this a bit shorter. We'll see how we go. would be really good if somebody had just passed their driving test. Mm, I think I might have that coming out from under there actually almost like a, a ribbon coming off the out from underneath and I think because it would be good for something like somebody passing their driving test I think we'll take the way to go Will that fit on that little bit of blue? It will. Perfect. Let's ink that up. And let's stamp that on there. Brilliant stuff. And I think the other thing we'll do is we will take Take this sort of dotty exhaust fume type stamp. Not going to quite fit on there. We need a slightly wider one. Let's ink that up and then let's have that. I'm going to have it coming to the edge of this circle across the middle and then we'll just put our car over the top of it. Okay, let's get sticking. So we'll start by putting our our Bermuda Bay layer onto our Pacific Point card base. And we'll have our embossed grey granite layer. Let's stick our whisper white layer to our
the new Bay layer and let's glue down our roadway to come across the back I think we'll uh, where oh where have my dimensionals gone aha here they are Let's pop some dimensionals on the back of here. I think I've got some mini dimensionals here somewhere, right? Mm. Take a big one for now then. Let's put a, bim, a dimension on the back of our Bermuda Bay card. We'll have that so that that twirly exhaust fumes is coming out of the back. And then I'm going to put some glue on these ones. This one coming down here. We want it to come out that way or it's down there like that. Then we've got our way to go. Let's trim that into an end that way. So we'll have it like that. Let's take a little bit of Bermuda Bay and let's give that a, a Bermuda Bay layer as well. We'll cut around that. We can have that coming up on dimensionals. Let's trim that in half. They're very cute, aren't they? if that just needs a bit of a something else on it. Decisions, decisions, what to have. We've got a few little metallic pearls here. We could perhaps just add in a few of those if they come off of my finger and onto the card. Excuse me. Oh, and there it was, disappeared. Who knew I was a magician? I certainly didn't. There it is, I can see you. It definitely wants to stick to my finger and not to the card. We'll have a couple down this side. 
Okay, so cute little cards. Way to go. So fabulous if you've got somebody that has just passed their driving test. Or is setting off on a road trip or whatever. We are, of course, in um, the sender card week. So how many reasons can you find to send a card this week? Might even be that somebody's just had a new car. How exciting. So that's one little card created with uh, the cards. Let's have a look what else we can play with. So I think I'm going to take my piece of Whisper White card and cut myself a card front. So let's go, we'll go 13.9 by nine and a half. And I think we might go with a train for this one. thing we need to lay down is our rail track and we'll have that come in across the bottom here A quick slurp of my water and we will have our rail in um, Memento black. I think we could have gone grey, but let's go black. Now, I haven't to say this is my first play with these. I haven't tried them on the Stamparatus to see if... Um, oh, that's fairly wobbly. Let's, let's turn over and start that again, shall we? You can, of course, um, bend these. So if you wanted them going over a hill or even possibly in a circle, that would be fun to try, wouldn't it? So we've got our track. It does go slightly uphill. Not bad for eyeballing it. So let's take the train, the engine. Is it about memento black that I always always hi Caroline always get a black blob I must have some sort of like attraction to black memento we will find a way of disguising that so let's take our little carriage and Move our pad out the way because I think that's perhaps what I did. Lent on it. Let's looking and making sure we line that up. Are we going to have the train going off the end or are we going to leave it like that? I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. We can always go back in and put another one in. We're going to leave it like that for now. Then I think we'll have a bit of a helicopter going on in the sky. How long 
is that banner about there because we could have a helicopter flying a banner so let's do that let's bring in this banner to the back of our helicopter oh, I wiggled that it's fine Caroline I was saying right at the beginning my sister managed to slice her finger yesterday on a metal pan scourer nicked an archery so I've been helping her a bit this morning So that's our public service warning today. Please be careful. I think we'll go for some nice bright colours with these. Let's just grab some, oh, I don't know, what shall we have? A bit of mango melody. I've got some Pacific Point over there. Let's come in with a seaside spray for some clouds. So, Got a little cloud stamp in here so I've got some seaside spray and a little cloud so I think I'm going to stamp that off before stamping it on we'll just have some have one coming off here and one coming off down here so there's some little clouds in the sky morning or afternoon Debbie wherever we are in the day <laughs> and now look do you know do you have days I just you know should have drawn a line into today and gone back to bed now I've got a nice black blob on my other card but we'll I'll look at that in a minute. Let's have some little birds because we can. Let me have an It's Your Day, I think, going on in that banner. We'll do that in black. And then I will put the lid on that black ink and hopefully not get it anywhere else. So let's come in now and do it, some colouring in of our little images. So this is the colouring in stamp for the helicopter. So let's pick that up and I think we'll have, let's have a granny apple green helicopter. So let's line that up and colour that in just like that. And ooh, what shall we have for the the blades? We've got a coastal cabana here. Let's go coastal cabana on the blades. It's very cute. Now for the train. Um, I think I'm going to go a 
Let's go Pacific Point with, no, we're going to go Poppy Parade. Let's have a red train. Let's have a nice bright red train. There we go. And for the carriages, um, where have you gone? Here you are. Let's grab that little stamp. We'll have a mango melody one. We'll have a gorgeous grape one. And let's go back to that coastal cabana for the last one. So this nice sort of turquoisey blue. Good fun. I'm going to got here a bit of balmy blue watercolour pencil. I'm just going to sort of highlight around these windows a little bit. It'd be really quite fun if you've got a little picture of somebody that you could add into the helicopter. I'm going to take a landslide in my grey watercolour pencil and just add in some wheels. So I'm going to just do a bit of grey shading on the tracks. Just so it pops out a little bit from the white background. Then I think we'll take, we've got there some old olive and let's just have a bit of Bit of green down here, and we'll have a bit of green this side. I think I'm also going to take my watercolour pencil and um, this is actually Bermuda Bay. Let me just come in. And add in a bit of colour to our banner. The other thing that we could do is stamp it again onto some colour card and cut out the banner and have that sort of 3D'd up. Particularly as I managed to do a little touch of 
double stamping there but here we go still looking very white in the background there isn't it could do with a little bit of something else going on I've got no trees in that stamp set we've got some smoke that we could have coming out of our um, chimney so let me grab a well I think smoky slate would probably be an appropriate color to have for smoky puffs let's have a few little smoky puffs coming out of the train front that actually's helped to break up that little bit in the middle there I'm going to find some coastal cabana I think to sit that on I'm going to cut a bit of this to 14.4 by 10. do with is a quite nice straight line happy birthday let me have a little look through happy mother's day i don't think that's what i want is it when you know just what you want a possibility I'm just flicking through my stamp sets here so it could be if you were it was um, for a particular member of the family you could put you know grandson son uncle sort of thing in there I think perhaps this one make a little bit of coastal cabana and this block oh got a heart on there let's find our memento ink and we'll just stamp that on there like that grab my bigger scissors because that gives me a better line No, don't like that. 
just want a little something on that side. Let's go for another option. And just stick that to that. Hi Emma. Ignoring the wonky rail on the reverse. And I'm going to take some of this black and white twine from the Playful Pets. And let's wrap that round there a couple of times. We will tie our bow, etc., and then have a bit of a tweak as to where we want it to sit, lay, how big we want our bow. About like that, I think. Take that bit and that bit. And let's go. With a black card base just to let that pop in the background. I'm going to come, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to want I'm going to have a side opening one so I'm going to cut it ten and a half centimeters on the short side and score it at 14.9 on the long side and then we'll lift that up on some dimensionals which are just here. Jackie. Obviously then you'll need to do something on the inside. It will need a little white mat on the inside. little bow just gave it what it needed just needed something to fill in that side a little bit let's take my glue eraser and get rid of that little blob just there so let's cut that to nine and a half and I think what we'll do with this is I'm literally going to move some of this gubbins out of the way to have the train coming in on that edge
Oh, got my ink on my finger. And little bird. And we could take our happy birthday and pop that in the middle there. Let's pop that on the inside just like that and make our horrible little inky marks even worse. <laughs> this morning our card making has been brought to you by the do as I say not as I do method of card making. Don't come and do it live when you're tired. And you haven't had your lunch. <laughs> but hopefully you will get the general idea of what cute little cards you can make with this lovely little um, lovely little disappearing moving along stamp set and again with the certainly with the little card card car card we came in and added some elements from our textured essentials so we're having another little play with that stamp set so as i say these were two of the stamp sets these are both from the annual catalog um, and they were ones that i added into my collection when we had the sale a couple of weeks ago but um, cute little sets so you can do new baby cards cards for little toddlers who like their cars and their trains it could be for a train enthusiast but just fun little cards whether you're stamping on colored card or whether you're using the two-step stamping for coloring in cute little stamp set so thank you for joining me, all being well. Um, I will be here on Friday morning and there will be other things excitingly, hopefully, popping up um, on the Facebook page and in the groups during the week. So do stay tuned and I'll see you all very, very soon. <laughs>